Last month, we looked at Nigel Cheese and his groundbreaking free energy PCAMS machine. Has Nigel saved the energy crisis? Will he be the saviour of humanity for generations to come? Find out on today's Tim for Tuesday. <laughs> Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Tim for Tuesday with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin to say a huge thank you to the sponsors of today's video, Raycon. Raycon's everyday earbuds really do look, sound and feel better than ever. Their gel tips have a perfect in-ear fit. These earbuds are so comfortable, they stay in your ear no matter what you are doing. I love switching between a couple of the sound profiles. If I'm listening to my next running audiobook, I use the Pure Sound Profile. This is a refined sound, perfect clarity to hear every single note or word. Then when I'm doing the cooking, I'll probably use the Balance Sound as I listen to my music. This is Raycon's most universal and leveled sound profile for all around performance, warmth and depth. And there is also Bass Sound. Bass boosted sound, great for songs with strong beats and a go-to for bass lovers. To swap between sound profiles, you just hold the left ear earbud button down for three seconds to cycle between them. And Raycons are priced just right. You get quality audio for around half the price of other premium audio brands. Plus you get eight hours of playtime and a 32 hour total battery life. Raycon Everyday Earbuds have over 49,000 five star reviews and it's easy to see why. Click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash simandan to get 15% off your first purchase of Raycons. Right, back to today's video, which as I said earlier, is a continuation of Nigel Cheese's presentation regarding his free energy device. We join him as he starts to talk about the scalability of his product. So I said, if we take this, can we now put two or three cards together and make it a bit bigger? So each of the little squares shows it's 83 watts. So if we put three of them together, we end up with a layer, which is 960 by 160 by 100 mil. There's your box. And it produces 2.5 kilowatts of energy. 2,500 watts of energy. Every hour, all the time. Now, if you had a GCSE education, you would know that uh, the watt is a unit of power that's equivalent to joules per second. So 2,500 watts is 2,500 joules per second. You can't have watts per hour, otherwise you'll have joules per second per hour, which doesn't make any sense. As I said, if you were educated enough, you would know this. So it will do this day in, day out, and 2.5 kilowatts is an average small home. So my engineers tested it out and said, yeah, all the figures are right, all the values are right. What else can we do? I said, well, if you take this and you tweak it a little bit, you can kind of make something that looks the same size as a small wall cabinet. So each one of the units was 2.5 kilowatts, and then we put 10 of them on top of each other. So we ended up with a device that was about 960 millimetres wide, a metre high, and 160 mil deep on the wall, producing 25 kilowatts. That's enough to run any house. With ease. If only it was this easy, hey, Nigel? But seriously, if it was this easy, then it would already have been done, wouldn't it? This intrigued the engineers, and they said, well, OK, let's go for the metre by metre. Something the same size as a domestic refrigerator. So we did. As you can see, we've got five blocks of 25.29 uh, kilowatts each. Okay, but did the engineers actually build this or was it all just a theory? And it gives us 126.45 kilowatts. That is enough energy to run a small village. I mean, this is all sounding very promising, but of course, Nigel hasn't shown it working yet. And I can only assume that potential investors wouldn't have thrown money into something if they hadn't have seen the product working either. Because it produ produces this energy, not once, but continually. Every minute of every hour of every day of every year. Well, again, if you had a better level of knowledge than a 13 year old, you, you would know that 126 kilowatts is the same as 126,000 joules per second. That is a phenomenal amount of energy for you. Let's have a quick summary of what we've got. We've got PCAMs. 
We know it's card based and it's 320, 159 by 10 and produces 83 watts. And if we put three of them together, we're going to have 250 watts. And if we stack 100 of them cards, we're going to have 25 kilowatts. And if we put five cabinets together, we get 126.45 kilowatts per hour. Now, PCAMS runs 24 hours a day. So if you go 24 times 126, you end up with 3 million watts of energy every day. How many times watts is not an energy unit? Plus, your maths is wrong. 126 kilowatts is almost 11 billion joules of energy in one day. Now that is about enough to power a typical home for about one year. That's 3 million watts for free after the cost of the box. It's infinitely scalable. So whether we have it as one meter, two meters, 10 meters, half a kilometer, it doesn't matter. Each one just bolts together or automatically connects together and amplifies the next range of power. Let's have a look at what we call, what can we use today and what we can use tomorrow. You know, like wecompare.com we're doing a power density compare and this is totally irrelevant because your units are wrong the maths is wrong everything's wrong so on the left i've taken some storage devices such as nickel uh, uh, nickel cadmium lead acid nickel nickel metal hydride and lithium so as technology with inside the battery storage world uh, continues we ended up with lithium which is producing about 265 watts per kilogram of lithium now with inside a lithium battery it's not all lithium there's paper there's materials there's plastic so the amount of lithium is not 100 percent pecans using the same principle one kilo of silicon and yttrium produces 126.45 kilowatts it's almost like we wouldn't need batteries ever again, isn't it? It must be so exciting to be on the precipice of greatness. We only use about 50 atoms of yttrium per cell. 50 atoms. You can do that 100 times on a pinhead. 50 atoms? Okay, Nigel, if you say so. But it means that a PCAMS unit per kilogram is 477 times more efficient than the bomb that you drive around in a car. That's phenomenal. And also wrong. Why have you not known about this? You've got to ask that question. It's no good building something if it doesn't last for a long time. It's not an Ikea product. You build it once, it falls down the next day. It's not buying a Ford and you drive it for 22,000 miles and the engine drops out. It's not a set of clothes that you put it on once and the sleeve falls off. You've not had much luck with things in life, have you, Nigel? A sleeve falling off after one use? That's called false economy. It's build a box and it lasts. It doesn't give out on you. So I went back to the manufacturers and I asked them, of all of these components, which one is the weakest link? Which is the weakest component? And the company says, it's this item here. I went, OK, how good is it? And they come back and said, well, we can guarantee that bit of kit for 25 years. I really don't think it's now feasible to give this idea any more attention. It's clearly a load of old cobblers. So let's finish off by looking at how Nigel signed his presentation off. I hope you found that interesting. And I hope you use the information I've given you. So at that, I thank you for taking your time for sitting down and listening. And please, if you've got any questions, let me know. And I'll well, there we go. I've got a question actually, Nigel. How have you managed to bend the laws of thermodynamics to your will in order to make a box? Look forward to that reply. But for now, we are all done and dusted for another Tinfoil Tuesday. And what a Tinfoil Tuesday it was. I wonder if we'll be hearing any more 
from Professor Dr. Nigel Cheese. Thank you so much for watching today. It truly is appreciated. If you enjoyed it today, please do consider subscribing to the channel. We're on that push for half a million subscribers. We will get there hopefully by the end of this year. Uh, and of course, if you really enjoyed this video, hit the like button as well. If you haven't seen the first part of this video yet, I'll leave the link for that in the description and you can check that out too. Just enough time to once again thank Raycon for sponsoring today. Remember, uh, click the link in the description or visit buyraycon.com slash simandan to get 15% off your first purchase of Raycons. I have been Simon Dan. Have yourselves a fantastic day and I'll see you all tomorrow for another Misconception Mini. See you then.